Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current fights of 15th April 2024. So we are going to take PDF of Hindu and we are going to pick out the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. So there are many articles in our Hindu, but there are very few articles which are relevant. So how can you know like which article is relevant and which article is irrelevant? So we have two sources that will be guiding us to pick out articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. So first one it is our UP syllabus. So if you have thorough knowledge and if you are like by heart in the syllabus then this process of picking up of articles will be very easy because whatever the keywords that you are seeing in syllabus that you can see sometimes directly in the newspaper so that you can select those topics and second one here is if you have gone through your previous questions okay then you will be knowing like from where UPSC is picking up of articles and from where there is a chance of getting your questions so in this way you can have the knowledge and you will be picking the right articles so that you will be not wasting much time in preparing current fights every day. Clear? Okay. So now let's get started with our discussion. And here I am taking Delhi edition. So whichever edition you are having, you can take. So I am thinking like I have to shift to this Hyderabad edition soon. So please tell me your suggestion whether can I move to this Hyderabad edition or not. Yes. Now let us see this front page and this is the first important article so title of this article is iran warns israel against retaliation okay it is saying that iran warns israel against retaliation so if you have watched yesterday's hindu analysis i discussed about what is the issue between iran and israel so let me explain once and I will give you like a, b, uh, a brief background regarding what is this and some dimensions regarding this article. And one thing I want to say is whenever we are discussing Hindu newspaper, I will be giving you the dimensions like how you have to think from a single topic point of view. So that what happened, so your thinking process will be get activated and if you are improving your thought process daily, day by day then that will be helpful to write a very good main answer and that will be very good analysis or I can say like this is like a good exercise to write a very good essay in multi-dimensional manner. So no way you are going to learn this except in this Rathod's IS Hindu analysis. It's my challenge. Okay, so let us see the dimensions. So before seeing dimensions, I want to come up with an announcement. So the announcement is we in Rathod's IES, we are going to start our offline batch for GS prelims come mains foundation course that is from May 27, that is from the next month. Here the new batch is going to be started for your foundation for prelims and mains in Rathod's IES Academy. And we have established our offline academy in Hyderabad Ashok Nagar. So actually we came up with one challenge that is 50% fee refund with a written agreement. So what is this about? And many students they are thinking like why 50%? Okay, so how much you are going to give? And one thing is so when you are going to give this fee? So these are some queries which are present in the mind of students. Yes. So here I am going to resolve all your doubts. So first of all here, what is this 50% fee refund challenge? So many students, they have a career dream of becoming of IS officer or of IPS officer or IFS officer or IRS officer. And with that dream, they are joining many institutes and they are going to coaching and after coaching, they are coming to their hostels or PGs. Okay, there is no proper guidance. And even after starting this offline mentoring in this Rathor Science Academy in Hyderabad, I understood that after completion of coaching also, students, you are not knowing about what are these PYQs, how prelims questions will appear. They don't have any knowledge. They didn't have attempted any single question of PYQs. Either it may be mains or prelims. 
so we came up with this 50 percent free uh, challenge that is if you are not clearing at least prelims after this one year coaching that we are providing then your 50 amount 50 percent of amount that you paid that will be refunded so here for gs prelims plus mains foundation so here we are charging around 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees and if you want like gs integrated that means gs plus your optional that is foundation course plus optional we are charging around 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees so if you are not clearing even prelims after this coaching we are going to refund 50 percent that is around 60 thousand rupees we are going to pay back to you you can ask me a question so why are you that much confident yes because from last five years from past five years i am analyzing hindu newspaper so with these experience and i am also analyzing like how questions are appearing in your prelims and mains so with this knowledge and with this experience of mine so we can expect like how the questions are related to current affairs so if you see your prelims and mains around 60 to 70 percentage of your paper will be your newspaper or current affairs and if you thoroughly do this and even if you do the pyqs and as well as daily practice is very important so it is not like you are coming to the uh, offline institute and you are sitting around two and a half hours to three hours per day and you are leaving so we are not that kind of institute daily we are going to provide you five hours of classes which includes your gs prelims come mains and apart from that you have to stay extra five study hours per day that means you are staying in institute around 10 hours per day and you are having a very detailed study plan what you are going to do in these study hours so here in institute we are also providing you free study space so for students who join this gs prelims come mains foundation so we are going to provide study space so in that study space you are going to sit for five hours and in that five hours you will be having revision of that day classes and test and as well as you will be having ncrt foundation as well so what are the features here of this course is there will be 100 percentage of your syllabus coverage and we are going to practice 10,000 plus pyqs which are appeared in different examinations and those examinations are conducted by upsc and we are taking the questions as per the standards of upsc level of your csc examination and this one is we are also going to cover mains pyqs of last 12 years and apart from that there is exclusive focus on csat csat is becoming tough day by day that means every year you will be getting like clearing uh, of this uh, csat is becoming difficult so we are also focusing on this csat mains answer writing essay and case studies and next one is whatever the study space we are providing you will be having the faculty support because in other institutes the problem which is faced by the students is there will be no support from the faculty so after the class faculty will be going so there is no connection or interaction with the faculty and the students that we are focusing so we are going to provide the study space that too with faculty support and this one is regularly we will be conducting prelims and main tests and one more special feature is there will be one-to-one -one mentorship with toppers and next one is there will be complete coverage of your ncrts in study hours and we are also going to cover contemporary issues because if you see the trends of questions in your prelims and mains so mostly the contemporary uh, contemporary issues are coming so there will be like two years of your prelims plus mains current affairs contemporary issue coverage and this one is so after every day class you are going to get the class handouts for your revision purpose and next one is we are going to give you practice questions of prelims and mains daily and next one is whatever answers that you are writing in the questions which you are giving every day there will be even evaluation and next one is 
we are also going to provide the compilations of current affairs of weekly and monthly and next one is we are also going to provide exclusive value added study material for your preparation and next one is we are also focusing on timely completion of syllabus before your prelims and one more exclusive feature of this course is there is a very limited batch size so batch size is just 70 students per batch okay so if you want to join this and many of you students you are searching for this type of classes right so if you are the one who are searching for this type of coaching so contact us on this number 8074765513 and even this is whatsapp member you can text me on whatsapp as well and admissions are going on and the batch is going to be started from 27th may 2024 so don't be late because here we have only limited seats okay so keep this in mind and contact us and you can take the admissions okay so this is about our course and now let us see the dimensions of the first article that is about iran and Israel conflict which is going on okay it is Iran Israel conflict so actually this topic is related to your Israel Palestine issue so here you have to see the dimensions so first one is from geography point of view from GS paper 1 you have to see map map of Israel and for sure you can get question regarding the important places in Israel or regarding blue line or countries are sharing boundary with this Mediterranean Sea or uh, like already Mediterranean Sea uh, you got questions in 2015 2016 regarding which of the following countries not sharing boundary with Mediterranean Sea and you can get a question regarding the boundary like river which is sharing boundary with Israel and other countries or Dead Sea or like a West Bank, Gaza Strip. So in this way you can expect the question. And next you have to see like who are these Houthis and what is the relationship between Iran and Houthis. So actually these Houthis they belongs to this Yemen and you have to see like how Iran is trying to control Red Sea. So Red Sea is also an important area where you can get map based question and next one is what is the issue between iran and pakistan and if you see here us which is supporting israel and now iran is also against us okay and you have to see like even though iran which is belonging to certain sect of muslims why iran is supporting hamas so Iran it is Shia country okay so in Muslims we have two sects like Shias and Sunnis so Hamas you are belonging to this Sunnis but why Iran is supporting Hamas in this Palestine that is very important thing and these are the some dimensions that already we discussed in the earlier classes and now let us move on to next article so here you can see one article so title says Zero FIRs registered over killings of two Kuki Zoom men, bodies yet to be returned. So the issue here it is, what is this zero FIR? And next one is, who are this Kuki Zoom? Okay, and this is issue in which state that is Manipur. So now let us see the dimensions. So this article it is talking about issue in Manipur state so if you go to the recent past what happened in this Manipur that you have to know to understand this so actually there was issue between two communities that is Metis and as well as Cookies so because of this issue between Metis and Cookies that led to eruption of communal violence so if you are writing any answer regarding this communal violence you can give this example of Manipur issue between meat and cookies 
and now what is the issue here is central government central government is asking the state government to revisit removal of this cookies from this st list okay scheduled tribe list so this is the issue which is going on okay and next important thing that you have to see is who are this cookie zomi tribes okay who are this cookie zo or zomi tribes and one more thing here is what is this zero fir so i think you might have listened or came across this fir so when you are, you are watching any movie so you will be coming across this fir that is first what is that information or investigation report please let me know okay so you might be knowing about this fir but here this article is saying that what is this zero fir so you can get a question like what is the difference between fir or zero fir or recently zero fir in is, is in use what it is so in this we also you can expect question okay so now let us see this article in detail okay totally we are going to see analysis of six important articles which appear in our today's newspaper and actually this topic is important from your quality point of view from gs paper too and next one is uh, it is also important from your tribes okay and now let us see why it is in news so actually manipur police they registered two zero fir's for what for killing of two kuki zo village volunteers so two volunteers had been killed so because of this now manipur police they filed this two zero fir's so if you see further more details it says that manipur government has been asked by center to examine the representation which is seeking delisting so recently here central government said that a state government should revise whether there is a need of keeping this kuki zomi tribes in st list or can we remove them from st list so this is the one important thing why it is in news and if you see here what led to this representation so actually the representation to deskill that means to remove this kuki zomi tribes from this st list because of ongoing ethnic conflict okay it is between meeti people and kuki zo people so actually this kuki zo are st that is scheduled tribe people and these scheduled tribe people they will obviously living in this hill region and the valley region so we have this meeti people who will be living in manipur so the issue between this meet is who are valley living people and as well as this kuki zo who are hill living tribal people so the meet is who are seeking scheduled tribe status to own land in the forested hill districts so actually the issue here is so meet is they are asking for st status so why these people are asking for st status because only st people that scheduled tribe people they have certain rights okay they have certain rights that is they can own land they can argue against inclusion of certain kuki and zomi tribes and this uh, because of this what happened now this meeti community they are challenging the st status of other tribes and finally they want to delist this kuki uh, zomi tribes from this st list so who are this kuki zo tribes so they are primarily residing in this chura chandpur district and they have a very rich cultural heritage and they comprise various tribal bodies like itlf which serves as a significant voice for kuki zo community and even they are demanding for the preservation of st status with their commitment to upholding constitutional safeguards and even they are trying to protecting their rights and land and apart from this you have to know one more concept that is what is the meaning of zero fir i hope you know about this nirbhaya delhi gang rape case of 2012 yes or no so after this delhi nirbhaya gang rape case we came up with this concept of this zero fir so if you see here zero fir it refers to first inf investigation report that is fir and this fir is registered irrespective of area where offence is committed for example if you are so and so si okay 
so if you are si so you will be filing the cases which comes under your jurisdiction right but if it is happening out of your jurisdiction you will be not bothering about that but in this case of uh, zero fir you have to register the case even though if it is not coming under your jurisdiction okay irrespective of area where the offense is committed fir to be registered that fir is called as zero fir clear and next one is the police in such a case they can no longer claim that they have no jurisdiction okay police they are have they are not having any choice like i will be not taking up of case i will be not filing fir because it is not coming under my jurisdiction under this zero fir and next one is later later it is transferred to the police station so first of all they will be filing this fir that is zero fir and after that they will be transferring the case to the police station where actual jurisdiction comes so that they can start this investigation and next one is it was introduced on the recommendation of justice verma committee it is very important so based on this justice verma committee recommendations we came up with this concept of zero fir and after this nirbhaya gang rape case in 2012 okay so why this zero fir is important because this puts a legal obligation on the police to begin an investigation and to take a very quick action without excuse of absence of jurisdiction so to mainly do the investigation fast to start the procedure fast yes we came up with this concept of zero fir and now let us move on to next article so that's all so these are two articles in our front page and you can leave the city page so there is nothing much important in our today's hindu paper and you can move on to the states page so because of election so most of the articles are political articles they will not bring you anything so don't read this irrelevant topics okay and you can move on to editorial directly in today's page so in editorial page also we have like one article which is political article so that is the manifesto so it is about the manifesto you are not going to see like what is this manifesto everything so it is not at all useful and here you can see this article it is about food prices still bite even if fresh pressures could weigh on inflation so actually even inflation within the limits now you are seeing like there is increasing of food prices and even though there are many steps taken by the government to control the food prices but there is no decrease of food prices so it is one of the cause of concern and we saw that in rural areas food prices more compared to urban areas okay so in this way we are also seeing like regional disparity so uh, now let us see the dimensions so this topic is about inflation and this inflation is one of the favorite favorite area of upsc and in 2022 there are two simple static based questions appear from this inflation topic directly so i can say like this is one of favorite topic i can say like red uh, velvet cake topic of upsc for your prelims and here you have to see like what is this inflation so inflation is a condition where we can see there is increase of prices of goods and service in the market and you have to see what are the types of inflation and apart from this types you can see like what are the causes and in this types we have three types cost push inflation demand pull inflation and next one is built in inflation cost push demand pull and built in inflation you have to see like causes and next you have to see like what are the measures so in measures again we have to think from government point of view and from rbi reserve bank of india so government it is trying to control inflation through physical policy so in this fiscal policy there are two components so first one is taxation increase or decrease of taxation and next one is government spending increase or decrease of government spending and rbi which is using 
monetary policy as a tool so here it is controlling interest rates okay interest rates for example repo rate reverse repo rate like that and next you have to see like different indices that we are using to measure this inflation for example we have cpi wpa and the organization to releasing that and you have to see like what is the significance of inflation and you have to see like classification of inflation so from this classification also we can get question for example stagflation skewflation creeping inflation galloping inflation so there are terminology you have to know those terminology and this topic is very important from your gs paper 3 under economy okay clear so these all are the dimensions that you have to see and if you are preparing for mains you have to see that your data from economic side that's it and now let us see next important articles so here you can see one article which is talking about breach of convention so actually this article is talking about Ecuador breach of what international convention so that convention is called as Vienna convention on diplomatic relations and you can get a question because international organizations will be very important because in your UPSC prelim syllabus so there is one topic like national and international issues okay so this organization is very very important and if it is in editorial yes you have to see that there is no choice and next one is urbanization no liberating force for Dalits so this article is also very important okay this article is also very important because it is talking about Dalits and if you see in your modern history there are many topics and many uh, freedom fighters they fought against this thing okay that is discrimination of, based on caste and next one here is you have to see Dalit movements that happened and even you have to see role of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and as well as Jyoti Pule okay Jyoti Rao Pule so these are two very important concepts so let me explain you first this Vienna convention topic and later on we are going to see this topic of Dalits okay yes now let us see this article of what is this Vienna convention on diplomatic relations so why it is in news so Ecuador raided Mexico embassy okay which is present in place called as Quito okay so you hear there is also one more chance of getting question in your prelims is they will give you the city name and they will be asking like to which country it belongs to and they are giving like pairs okay Ecuador which is raided on April 5th at this Mexico's embassy which is present in this Quito and it is a serious violation of Vienna convention on diplomatic relations okay so please let me know where this place of this Quito located and I want to uh, give you one uh, simple trick like so whenever you are seeing any place in news you have to see place and country where it is located and you have to see why it is in news because in 2023 prelims the question is place and they asked why it is in news okay so in this area also you can get a question so from this we also have to prepare okay so Ecuador raid on April 5th at Mexico's embassy so Mexico's embassy where it is located in this Quito region so it is like serious violation of this Vienna convention of diplomatic relation so here you have to know like how it is violation so if you want to know like how it is violation first you have to know like what are the provisions okay you have to see like what are the provisions of this Vienna convention on diplomatic relations so now let us see so why why because of corruption charges on this uh, former vice president and president so they attacked so if we are talking about this Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, so when we came up with this convention in year 1961. So this convention which established to define fundamental principles and even the terms 
which are governing how countries must treat each other diplomatic representatives. So as you all know that Indian foreign officers, okay, you know, like, right? So here this Indian foreign officers, they will be working in other countries and the salary hike is also very much. Okay, so they will be earning more money than IAS officer or IPS officer. Okay, so the issue here is whenever one country diplomats are working in another country diplomats, they will be getting some special rights. Those rights are given in this Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Okay, so first we adopted this in year 1961 by United Nations Conference on Diplomatic Intercourse and Immunities and the important aim it is to maintain friendly relations and to maintain effective communication channels between the nations. Yes, if you want to communicate, for example, India wants to communicate with other country, how can we communicate? So, we need some persons to talk, right? So, those persons are nothing but the diplomats. And we are trying to maintain good friendly relations and as well as we want to maintain effective communication channels with the nations that we are doing with these diplomats under this Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. And around 193 countries, they have ratified this convention and India also ratified this in year 1972. So, what are the major provisions? There are five important provisions that you have to remember. So, first one is like what is the key principle of convention is diplomatic immunity. So, it grants diplomats exemption from certain laws. So, diplomats are exemption from certain laws and taxes in the host country where they are posted. So that here they can do their duties without any fear, without any threat or without any intimidation. And this one is according to article 29 of this convention, diplomats are not subjected to arrest or detention. Okay, it is one important thing. Okay, and the next one here is article 11.1 of this convention, which empowers the host country to establish reasonable and appropriate limits on the size of foreign diplomat mission. And even they have to see like how host country is supporting them. Okay. And next one is article 9 of this convention, which also allows the receiving states to declare the head of the mission of any member of the diplomatic staff person or like unwelcome without the need of explanation. And this notification can be made at any time. Okay. So here what happens if they are not having the good relations or good uh, thing which is going on then they can declare so these are the some important uh, provisions of this Vienna convention and now let us see the next topic it is about urbanization so you have to know some keywords okay so let us see this topic so I will give you the dimensions here itself so this article is important from your history point of view so especially this topic is important from your modern history. So where you will be seeing about contribution of our freedom fighters. Not exactly freedom fighters, you can say like social reformers. So we can call them as social reformers. So what are the important contributions of social reformers and how they try to bring the change in society for example Raja Ram Mohan Roy so his family uh, was not accepted by the movements but he came out of his family to do something to bring change in society and next one is you have to see especially contributions of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and you have to see about Jyoti Bhapule Okay, so like that you have to see like uh, people who fought against this re, uh, caste discrimination. And here you have to see like Ambedkar said that an Indian village is wo working plan of Hindu social order and argued that it is the ideal place to understand caste. So actually if you are talking about regions in India, so we are calling them as for example rural areas. So rural areas are nothing but villages and next one is we have urban areas. So urban areas are nothing but cities. So if you go to rural areas what you can see so still now yes caste is present. And even if you see like localities where 
uh, the people they are present so there will be separate localities for the separate caste people and usually this Dalit so they will be living out of the villages yes or no yes right so here Ambedkar said that Indian villages are examples like we can see like social order and it is ideal place to understand the caste and if you are reading like society or social issues or the like sociology or even anthropology you will be studying about uh, this caste system was studied by Srinivas okay and he also came up with like different books he wrote about this caste system in villages especially village of Rampura so like that here if you want to understand about the caste so we can go and visit the villages so this is the idea which is even given by this Ambedkarji so in the process of urbanization Ambedkar saw like yes we are going to have an opportunity for liberation of this Dalit people and even at that time he believed that the system of caste operation that thrive in Indian villages they become weaker in cities so what are the caste system which has been deep rooted in villages so if you are moving towards this cities or urban areas so it is going to be diversified so this was the idea which is present in the mind of Dr. B. R. Ambedkarji so these included like segregation of Dalits into ghettos so here you have to know like what is the meaning of these ghettos so ghettos means nothing but crowded crowded poor places in cities okay so these Dalits are getting into the crowded place of poor place and even this Dalits you are economically restricted in some activities you should not do these activities like that there are some restrictions and even there is denial of land ownership and even Jyoti Rao Phule uh, had also admired city life for being liberal and enabling him like Dalits to have something to earn but what happens cities in principle they are offering an opportunity which is becoming a, like a stranger among the sea of strangers and there is a transition which is happening in the urban areas like from caste based order to the class based order nowadays and especially if you see in this modern urbanization so it is filled by a skill based transition to economy for example they are like uh, they are like engines of urbanization or there is also like dominance of caste over skill which is seen okay so because of this this vision which is which was like very clear to Ambedkar that even skilled Dalits they were not allowed to enter into the weaving sections of textile mills at that time and despite these experiences Ambedkar he saw like urbanization as a liberal force and however after a century of Ambedkar struggles with renting a house in Baroda so caste remained a, stat, a spatial logic of Indian cities so actually there are some areas in cities for example especially this Baroda so if you want to get the room for rent or house for rent so they are asking caste so even after even after after century also we are seeing this type of thing so what is the need the need here is so urban governance policies are required and we need housing housing proper housing and we need sustainable caste based seg okay caste based segregation and we also uh, and even one recent study which had been said that public services and access to the municipal water municipal infrastructure it is worst in Dalit and Muslim ghettos okay so here we have to go and do some research in this sacrifice zones and we have to mark like severe environmental pollution like landfills wherever these landfills are there normally so those areas they are inhabited by these Dalits and Muslims so because of this here we have to focus on how to liberal these Dalits in this urban area so this is the idea of this article and if you go on to the newspaper so here in this opinion page so there is one article that is regarding decoding the judgment of Zim Corbett so actually you know that in Zim Corbett National Park so especially the state government so it is focusing on development in this uh, national park so here you have to see like what is the issue in Zim Corbett National Park and you have to see like uh, some important facts regarding the Zim Corbett National Park for which it is famous and you have to see what is the highlights of the Supreme Court judgment 
and you have to see one important general area where you can expect means uh, question is like what are the problems faced by these national parks so in these areas that you have to focus so now let us see the notes and this topic is at most important from your gs paper and environment and ecology and even from geography point of view also so actually if you see why it is in news because supreme court recently came up with a judgment and in this judgment supreme court slammed former uttarakhand forest minister for illegal construction and felling of trees inside the zim thorbert national park okay so because of this is in news and you have to see what are the highlights of this supreme court judgment so first one is political administrative nexus so supreme court condemned illegal felling of 6000 trees you can imagine the number it is 6000 trees and to construct illegal buildings for eco tourism in this zim corbett tiger reserve in uttarakhand okay so this is one example of greed in excess between politicians and officials who are working to devastate environment and this one is illegal construction so it also found construction of concrete buildings without due administrative clearances and this one is formation of a committee so supreme court directed the formation of a committee and this committee should include the representatives from central empire committee ntca wildlife institute of india union ministry of environment forest and climate change etc and they have to see this issue and this one is supreme court also said about the de- uh, restoration of the damage so the panel it will recommend the measures for restoration of the damages and what are the local in situ steps that can be taken to uh, recover the damage okay and next one here is feasibility of tiger safaris so the committee will also consider this and also submit the recommendations on whether this tiger safari safaris that can be permitted in this area or not and if you are talking about one general area i want to focus like uh, what are the challenges that this national parks are facing so you can get this type of mains question so first problem here is there is increased human animal conflict or human wildlife conflict okay and next one here is so in this national parks whenever you are going for illegal construction or development or infrastructure projects that will be creating the habitat loss and even degradation the fragment of uh, have fragmentation of that habitat and next one is poaching and illegal wildlife trade yes this is a very important and major problem and next one is alien species or invasive species so because of this alien species or invasive species that will lead to extinction of like native species so because of this there will be impact on biodiversity and native en- environment and this one is there is also change in the land use sub urbanization and expansion of livestock grazing drive species to shift their territorial and movement behavior so in this way here frequently this animal species they will come in contact with the people right so these are some important things that you have to see and now let us move back to our newspaper here you can see one article that is fertility levels drop below 1 in many asian countries that means whenever there is decreasing of fertility rate that means the new generation will be decreasing so this is the one important thing and here if here you have to see what is this concept of tfr total fertility rates so total fertility rate is nothing but women uh, whenever she entered into reproductive age so she is giving birth to how many children that is called as tfr okay so this is about this topic and here you can see like east asian and southeast asian countries so tfr was like 3.5 to 7.5 and the total fertility rate is average number of children in a woman in a woman expected to have in her lifetime so normally that tfr had been released okay so during 1950 to 1970 tfr was like 3.5 to 7.5 and now it decreased to 2.1 okay and even some areas it is less than 1 especially in south korea it is as low as 0.72 in 2023 
and in Hong Kong TFR is 0.7 okay like that different countries there is decreasing of TFR okay so here you have to see one important uh, dimension that is so why TFR is decreasing because of poor fertility rate so here you have to understand what are the reasons for the poor fertility rate and how uh, can we increase the fertility rates okay so this is one dimension that you have to think about and if you move on in this text and context there is one article it is regarding fixing india's vv pads uh, based audit of evm so this article is important and already we discussed about this article because one petition file like uh, to increase accountability and transparency so how many evms are there so we have to connect to vv patch and even we have to tally the odds in this uh, evms and vv patch okay so that is a thing and here you have to see like what is the gist of this article that's it so this article is important from your polity so why does the news election commission of india has attracted a criticism like how can you ensure transparency if you are not going with tallying of votes which are recorded in evms with this vv pad so this is the question or this is the criticism so vv pad based audit of evms it is a very it is a simple problem of statistical quality control so here we can use like sample size so here everywhere here uh, e election commission of india is not tallying so in some areas it will be going some places it is going for tallying so that it can ensure accountability and transparency but now there is a petition which says that you have to uh, tally each and every evms and vv pads so this is the issue and next i found one interesting article in the next page of text and context that is about what is doxing and what measures can you take if it happens to you so here you can get a question like recently doxing is seen in news what is the meaning of this doxing or which of the statement which appropriately says about this doxing so like that you can get question in your prelims so this article is important from your science and technology so let us see what does this doxing is about so doxing is nothing but it is an act of revealing personal information or identity revealing information about someone's online such as their real name personal documents phone number home address workplace and other financial information this is called as doxing so the word doxing has been uh, derived from this dropping dox and as it is doxing it is a form of online harassment involving the publication of personal information about an individual without their consent without their consent so there will be the revealing of their information and this information it can include like details of full name home address telephone number place of work other sensitive information and doxing is often carried out to expose it is to expose it is to threaten or intimidate someone and that can lead to severe consequences like physical harm or stacking or loss of employment etc okay so here normally such kind of information that can be uh, drawn through by hacking or by theft of data and next how can we prevent so we can use strong passwords that are not repeated across the platforms and we can avoid a posting of images photos reveal your neighborhood or any house packet or house keys or nearby landmarks etc and this one is reporting through national cyber crime recording portal online so these are some steps that we can take to prevent this type of doxing and now let us move on to our hindu page and the news page i found nothing much important you can leave this news page simply and there is no need of going through this elections 2024 page at all okay here you can see one article that is uncertainty prevails over pact extension with cookie zo groups and i discussed this article and if you move on there is money wise so there is nothing much important and you can go to the last page so in the last page you can see this signs so here you can see like how fast is the universe expanding new data keeps the mystery open 
So when you are talking about expanding of universe, so you will be seeing this theory. So what is the theory? That is Big Bang Theory, right? So Big Bang Theory is ex explaining about how universe is expanded. So if you see the gist of this article, it says that a closed universe is said to have a positive curvature of space like a sphere. Such universe will be finite even it has no bounds. That is, in universe, we can travel forever without falling off an edge. Okay, so you know that in our earth which is in the shape of sphere, so that here if you are moving, you will be coming to the space, same uh, space or the same area, you will be not falling down. And another possibility is that universe will continue to expand forever, but the rate will decrease. So the rate of expansion of universe will be decreasing, but expanding is like a continuous process. So the rate will take an infinite amount to drop to zero so that universe will keep expanding just very much slower. So whenever there is a decreasing of expansion of this universe, so now it is going to become flat. So it is according to this study. So especially this study which mainly done by using this cosmic microwave background. So if you have gone to 2013 or 2014 uh, prelims question, so there was one question like which of the following theories explain about the expansion of universe, there one option was like cosmic wave background. So in this cosmic wave background, we have two backgrounds. So one is red background and one is blue background. So red means nothing but whenever the particles in universe, they are moving apart from each other. So that will cause the background of red color. You can see here red color. And here you can see this blue color, right? So whenever the particles are moving towards each other, we can see like blue color. So if you see this image, you can see like red background is more composite of blue background. That means it is saying like there is expansion. Okay, clear? So this is about this topic. So these are the very important topics that appeared now today's Hindu newspaper. So by this I'm concluding. I hope you enjoyed this class and if you like uh, this class, hit the like button and please do share this class to your friends. And one more thing is, I am also giving you like Google review of Rathod Science link in description box. So please click that link and kindly give your Google rating and review of Rathod Science. It is very healthy for us. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to Rathod Science Academy.